Hey everybody, Sister Fantastic here, and today's video is going to be uh, an eye look uh, with the Jaclyn Hill palette. This will be my first time using this, and so I'm so excited. And I want to do I want to do a look in blue. And so anyway, I'm going to go in with the color called Silk Cream. I'm going to lay that down as a transition shade. This is a part of a challenge that I'm doing with a group of girls that um, have formed a Facebook group and it's a collab group. It's where they do collabs together and they support one another and so anyhow I was invited to join and so I joined up and the gal that runs the group her name is uh, Hot Mess Ness and she has Mask Mondays as well as I do and so I thought it was real interesting that we had that in common and so anyhow the collapse she coordinates you know and everybody votes on what they want to do and so this month um, for the month of August the the, the video is going to be everyone create something uh, in blue so you could do blue whatever you wanted to you know blue eyes blue lips, blue eyeliner, blue mascara, blue eyebrows, you know, whatever you want to do in blue. You could do the whole look in blue, or you could just do part of it in blue, you know. You could do blue glitter, you could do a blue festival look, or whatever. So anyway, I'm sure we're going to see some creative looks, but for me, I want to do a blue eye look using this palette because this blue has been staring at me right in the face ever since I got it. All right, now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a darker shade. I'm gonna go in with this color called Pooter. And just kind of build that color up. Through the crease. These are beautiful shadows. Uh, I love frosts. Y'all know that I love shimmers and frosts so much. And so, of course, when I first, you know, started dipping my fingers into it, those are the ones I headed to straight away. And uh, anyway, there's plenty to choose from as far as mattes and transition shades and, you know, colors that you want to use, like for halo eyes to build, you know, in the corners of your eye with. and for that outer V, you know, to get that depth, there's a beautiful matte black in the palette. And then there's like an off-white. And so anyhow, it's just a really nice palette. And I'm really glad that I got my hands on it. So anyway, it comes back out um, on the Morphe website on the 22nd of August. And so anyhow, I wanted to... Uh, film this video in preparation for my collab but also to remind everybody that the, the that missed get you know getting in on uh, getting a hold of the palette the first two times because of it selling out so fast that it will be back out on the 22nd and uh, so anyhow Morphe posted that yes yesterday I believe and uh, today's the 15th that I'm filming this so anyhow seven days from today it'll be out okay now I'm gonna go into this blue let me find a, a small brush let me use this Luxie brush because this blue is like it's like a it's like a it's like a royal purple really is what it is let me just swatch it for you and so you can see so anyhow I'm thinking that maybe I might need to mix it with some of this green here to make it look more blue. We'll see. So anyway, there's the blue and there's the green right beside it. So 
So let me just, let me go in with the green first. I'm just going to use a little bit. I just had to dip into it like two, three times. I got all that. So anyway, this kind of matches my shirt. So anyway, let me just go just a little bit lower in the crease. And... Just build up on what I've done there. And I just want to concentrate the product in the center of the eye and then blend out from the center. I like this color here, this green. It's really pretty. It's like a seafoam green. All right, now with that same brush, I'm gonna dip into that blue. And the color of it is, uh, the name of it is called Twerk. And I'm just going to go in. Right into that crease. And just blend that up into the green and just build that up oh yeah we're getting there just a little bit more I wanted to use this dual fiber brush because it is it picks up the product real lightly To this other arm. And this color right here would mix really well with purple too, I think purple that's right next to it in the palette would be beautiful with it to do a look. Use the warm purple and the cooler, you know, toned bluish purple.
Okay, maybe just a little bit more. Just go just a little bit deeper with it. I wish I had some blue mascara to go with this. That L'Oreal Voluminous has a, a nice one from what I understand. That would be really pretty with this. Okay, so that makes my eyes look a lot bigger. Okay. All right. Now, let me switch brushes and I'm going to find me a packing brush of some sort here. Let me get this one. This is a new one that I just received from e.l.f. And I'm going to go in, let's see here. Mm. I think I'm going to go in with this first color called In Light. Kind of an off white, but it has a shimmer to it. And I'm just going to put that right here on the lid. Kind of, it almost looks like a cut crease, but not quite. Because I'm going to blend that out on the top. All right, now with that same brush, I'm going to go into this color Beam, which is the lightest color in the palette. And I'm going to use that right here under the brow bone. Okay, then I'm just going to use that same brush, and I'm just going to blend, 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 blend. Okay, now I'm going to go into that matte black. And I'm going to use this little small angled brush and I'm just going to put that right there on the end of the, the lid and take that up into the outer V.
and then I'm going to use some of that same black and go right here underneath the lash line just right there at the corner and just kind of connect all that together alright the same thing with the other eye Okay, and then I'm going to take a, another brush, a thin, small brush. I'm going to go back into that blue. And I'm going to pop this right underneath the lash line and carry it on over. That's beautiful. Okay, and I just want to brighten that up just a little bit. Wow, how dramatic. That's just awesome. Okay, I have enough eyeshadow on. That just created such a beautiful, dramatic look. I am really happy with that palette. Okay, I'm going to go in with the Ico Black Magic Mascara. Wow, just think if I had some big old falsies on with this look, y'all. I'd take it to the next level for nighttime. I mean, really pretty. I may do that. I got a high school reunion coming up pretty soon. And it's going to be at night and it's going to be dim lights. This would be a perfect look for that. This mascara is pretty nice, y'all. I got this in my Ipsy bag and it lengthens and it builds volume. And when you go to wash it off, it's, it doesn't run. It, it's like little tubes 
that just slide right off the lashes. It's really nice. It's like a water resistant formula. And this, this wand curls the lashes. Because it's curved, it's a curved wand. So that saves me a step there. And I usually don't curl my lashes anyway. But this is nice. Okay. Let's put on some blush. And a lipstick. And a little bit of highlighter. Let me go in with, uh, let's see. I'm going to use a really pretty pink blush today. Let me use this one from Miss Chic. It's called um, Rose. And there's the color. I like putting pinks with blues. Just a little flush of color. Not a whole lot today. The eyes are the star of this show. No doubt. Okay, and I'm going to go into this Carly Bible palette that I have for a highlighter. I have recently fallen in love with this highlighter. And um, let me just show y'all what this looks like. It's so beautiful. <coughs> This pink, right here in the corner. It's got such a good payoff too. Okay, very, very nice. All right, now I want to go in with this. This lip kit here by Kylie, it's called Kristen. Well, I just dropped it. I dropped the lipstick. The lip liner is so creamy you can wear it by itself. <laughs> 